Alrighty. Welcome back, everybody. Um, let me get some audio testing done here. At least I should be live. Let me make sure. Once I test this, you're going to hear some audio doubling, so be aware of that. Once I test this, you're going to hear some audio. Yep, that's me. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. So, uh, Grant is not here yet. We'll be here soon. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, yet another one of our Mega Man 8 charity stream videos. Um, though we've basically hit our charity goals, and so now it's just kind of trying to follow through on everything that was promised. Um, let me go ahead and put some music on here. Okay, um, so uh, a bit of a recap for those who might be just popping in or may not have been able to make it to all these streams. Um, let me go ahead and pop up this info here. Hi, Scott. Um, so uh, not only did we manage to smash through our charity goals on the first stream that we did this, um, on the... The second time we, you know, uh, we had just kind of an intermission. Uh, we did not take uh, donations at that time. And then uh, on the third stream, we resumed donations and then smashed the goals again uh, because we um, know some very kind people uh, who are, are willing to donate to good causes. Um, in this case, uh, Riley Children's Hospital in Indianapolis um, through Extra Life. I think the name has, has changed somewhat. Uh, in any case, um, we're out of goals at this point, um, and we still have plenty that we actually need to finish properly. Um, and so in this stream, and probably the next one, um, we're just going to have to try to work our way through all that um, as we finish off Mega Man 8, and then also stick to the Mega Man X dive uh, stream that we have to do. We're not playing the game, just uh, doing a tier list of the characters. Um, so, uh, where we're at right now, uh, I uh, need to draw Grant's OC Fisherman, um, and I need to do it in four different styles. I've done two already from the last stream, that was uh, in Mega Man 8 style and in Mega Man X style. Um, and you can see them here. Uh, and then uh, for, you know, after that, when I'm finished with those, we'll still have to do uh, three sprite comics in the style or fashion of old, like, Bob and George comics. Though we won't be trying to emulate, like, the, the humor style or, or format necessarily, just in that we're making a sprite comic with, you know, like, Mega Man sprites as the base. Um, and then we still actually have to try to beat Mega Man 8 um, with some challenges imposed on me. So uh, I cannot buy any upgrades from the shop. Uh, whatever I had bought from before, which I think was like one thing, um, that's all I get. Uh, I'm not allowed to use any of the Robot Master's special weapons on the Robot Master stages. Um, so I have to use Mega Buster only on those boss fights. Um, additionally, uh, uh, I have no energy tanks until the final boss. This game does not have energy tanks, I had misremembered that. But it does have healing items that you can use, uh, from your rush upgrades, and so I cannot touch those until the final boss. Um, and, uh, as well, uh, in my regular gameplay, I have to at least give every stage two tries, Without vision, Grant has to uh, try to walk me through it and give me instructions. And then, even then, uh, when I get my vision back, I have to play the game left hand only. I have the control stick, I have uh, the left shoulder buttons, and I can reach my thumb over to hit the pause button and therefore um, change weapons uh, for puzzles and eventually for boss fights. And that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we will see if uh, I can I can finish the game in that way. If it stops being funny, then we might switch back. 
it was hard enough for me to beat this game with both hands um but in any case that's uh that's on the way so i'm gonna work on trying to get uh one of these drawings done before grant arrives um just to kind of give us a head start uh and grant will call in uh when ready so let me go ahead and put the stream info away um and i'm going to tab on over to open canvas all right i've realized recently that uh my open canvas view all my panels don't show up on your end uh when you're what you're seeing on uh twitch and what streamlabs sees is not actually everything um probably something to do with how these extra windows are like um you know used by the program or whatever or recognized and so or in this case not recognized as just kind of within it uh since they're floating um and so if i put the board in any weird places uh that that might be why for example right over here i have panels over here i have panels um yes indeed oh i'm also going to get twitch going up on my phone so that way i can try to watch chat because i am not a two monitor kind of person Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get to my own stream here. Okay, we're in. So, um, in order to adapt Fisherman to the Mega Man Battle Network style, uh, I think it was Grant came up with the idea uh, to do fishing as in PH. Um, and that's just beautiful. Uh, and so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to do fisherman.ex. Oh, that's right. Wait, I need to put the, the name is down here for the game. And then the name up top will be up here. Uh, so I'll wait to put that on. So this is Mega Man. Battle Network. Alrighty. So I was thinking up some ideas before the stream started on how I was going to do this. I wanted to do something where um, in, in the Battle Network games there are some enemies that will hide in like little holes in the net, uh, which just kind of like are represented as these little um, shadowy like cartoon holes in the ground and then like uh you might have you know a, a mole that pops up and then uh they uh will uh throw something or uh you know that kind of thing um what i wanted to do then is do that in the form of a life ring um so, like the life ring is or life preserver is out there and then like you approach it to check it and then pfft, uh, fisherman comes up out of it and tries to catch you in a net um so i need to actually i'm gonna look up a life preserver for reference it's gonna be at a bit of a weird angle okay probably won't do the little ropes attached well yeah i can probably do that but i won't make anything fancy Okay, so. Since this is a strictly geometrical object, this is probably not gonna look hot, just sketching it out. Um, I could use a shape tool, but, eh, you know what, sure, I'll do that. Let's rewind this. This is going to be a lot less pain. Okay. Alrighty, and then uh, let's do. So normally have like the rope on the sides of it. 
Can I do anything fun with that? Having like a plug or something would be dumb because then it would just be it's like electrical appliances and water is not a good idea. <laughs> Even for like the the internet cyber sort of theming. Um, you know, I'll just keep it at that. Keep it simple. And then I want to do a thing where we kind of throw back to the original design. Uh, since the there's not a lot from Mega Man X that carries over into Battle Network. It, it much more leans into the original. Um, so I'm going to try to bring that bucket hat back, but do something more like... Um, like a shadowy face underneath. So just like the eyes, you know, peeking out or whatever. Something like that. Uh, so let's see what I can do with that. First of all, let me do a pose. And I'm actually going to make a new layer. <laughs> I've been doing most of these on just one layer for speed, but um, Grant's not here, so I'm going to take all the time I want. Let's see. Trying to make sort of the the body splashing out We're down here. I want sort of the. Casting in that forward sort of overhead. This is going to be a tricky pose. <clears throat> so maybe I should focus on how I want the head first. I think I want the bucket hat mostly shielding. These characters with their sort of cyber theming usually do not have like any kind of cloth type accents or anything like that. It should be pretty stiff looking, so I probably won't try too hard to, to rectify that, but just something for me to keep in mind. Okay. Let's have. You know, let's do like the wicked grin instead of the eyes poking out. Just off to the side, I think side mouth sort of in. We'll do jagged teeth. I would like it better if it was a some kind of solid color actually for like the face and body rather than doing sort of like human head on a on a body donut um I think I'd rather have it as like trying to do like the entire the head the body everything is all one thing rather than doing sort of the skin tight suit approach they typically do with these net navvies. All right. Now let's bulk this out. The life preserver. Life vest. That'll give it a little bit more of that like angular stylization.
tank, and then we'll have arms coming out. Now here's the hard part. I need the arm sort of throwing forward overhead in an arc like this to throw this net that's going to be coming forward towards the camera. So it might actually be easier if I sort of put the net first. So let's try to do some, some foreshortening on this. So we'll say maybe here's the back of our net and then it's going to come all the way forward up here. Maybe there's going to be little handholds like rings on it to grab onto. I want that really wide here. Have it make this big arc. This is not going to translate to sketch very well, but let's see. You know what? I want to do this sort of like electrified. So in that rate, if I'm going to do that, you probably won't be able to see the back of it anyways. So let me instead make the top of it more interesting. So we have some sense of motion without having to see the arc that's coming from behind it. Now let me do a really simple grid. I'm starting to get a better picture now of how I can do this. Looks like I can do Hot Girls characters. <laughs> That's a high compliment. You know, I actually sent a a letter to the Skullgirls team um, when the game was still on its way. That no, I think it might have released by then. But I I basically sent a fan letter saying like, hey, I I think the work you do is cool. Uh, I I really appreciate your game. Um, I don't think I said anything along the lines of I would love to have a job with you uh, because I did look up at the time like basically how do you apply here and um, like they had their art test process and everything and I was like yeah it sounds a little too rigorous for me and I was still like in school at the time um, but I definitely sent them a, a fan mail anyways um, I was doing my best to like point out kind of like oh I'm going to use the names of particular devs I'm going to call out you know uh, Mario Kart Ride or uh, you know, Peter Bartholau or whoever as, to, as a way to try to like oh, you know I, I'm, a, I'm a super fan I really like your stuff please believe me and trust me and love me okay so let's go ahead and get the hands on this so thumbs are going to be on this side inside. Big chunky fingers. Thank you. 
than me knuckle off the forefinger there. Round this out into a sort of thingy shape. Oh, in, in Mega Man Battle Network Chip Challenge, there was some new character ring something. She was significant because she was uh, uh, a, a female net navi. Um, they did not have a lot of those. I don't remember if her name was like Ringo or something like that. But I was, I was like, oh, that she's neat. And I'll never know much more about her because I never got that game. And since it's not in the collection either, I probably never will. <laughs> Though I've heard mostly it's just kind of a, a tournament, so I guess if you're really into like the the battle system of those games, and probably the multiplayer component at the time, it's probably great, uh, but uh, not so much for me, so. This Mega Man's chip challenge someone that came in a box of Chex Mix. <laughs> Afraid not. <laughs> That's too big. Okay, I really need to figure out where the arms are going to be on this before I start drawing the rest of the gloves here. I really do love like the Mega Man EXE style glove that they tend to use. It's sort of like, it's it has like creased edges on it but not all over the place. So let me kind of just draw a standard hand here. got your hand. Oh, that's Korean. What if I don't let Korean in? What if I just let it run? I'm kidding. I'll... Hello! Hey, what's up? Okay. See, I should have made Grant wait. <laughs> Would have given you more time to get settled. But they have this thing where they kind of, like, it's almost like the glove is sort of, um, like vacuum sealed where it's a little thick around the hand but then it thins out and then it flares into a sort of a, a slight bell shape and then will crease into a little like disc at the end something like that uh, and I always thought that was so cool okay but enough about gloves for some reason, my my AKGs, my nice headphones, are only playing out of one ear. Oh no! It's a really bummer. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Um. Well, damn. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. It sucks. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Oh, sometimes. I I bought a new I bought a new like jack and apparently sometimes these jacks only will play one ear. So Damn. I'll continue to use my backup headphones for now until I can get that totally fixed. That mm -hmm. sucks. But Here on familiar territory, uh, you come to see Brantley draw the hands each separate rather than just copying and pasting and mirroring them. One time, uh, I was working on some classwork in a in a computer lab, and I was just scribbling to color something in, and someone was like, "Why don't you use the paint bucket and just fill it all in that way?" I was like. Well, because sometimes it's fun to just slow down and scribble. 
And someone else who was in there was like, yeah, you know what you're talking about. I was like, thanks. I don't, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, dang, I need to, I, I am, my, my house has become such a, just mess these past couple days, because I've been busy, and I've been running in and out, and I need to, I need to just clean. Can you, uh, can you give me that side stream? Uh, I would if I was streaming Mega Man right now, but I'm currently drawing, so. No, oh, alright. Um, uh, you can just kind of follow along on stream, though. Oh, I wasn't Sorry, supposed Willem to be Willem didn't want you to, to be let in. But apparently I lost because of it, so... Sorry about that. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, I am working on... Fisher Man with a PH, so... That's good. That's good. I didn't realize how far this idea would take us, mm -hmm. but I really think we struck gold. Yeah. I think it's less the idea and more that we're just geniuses. That's true. <laughs> we're so smart. <laughs> mm. This hand's gonna need to rotate. Today at work, someone showed me sketches from an IDW Sonic character. Uh-huh. Um, can you give me, can you start just listing off names until I recognize which one it was? Uh, Tangle, Whisper, Lanolin, Bell, um, what kind of animal was it? Um, it looked, it wasn't Whisper, but it was in that really, same. Really, do you have a really long tail? Yeah. Tangle the lemur, probably. No, 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 no. Sorry, it wasn't Tangle. It wasn't Tangle. Okay. It started, the name started with an S, I think. S. Was it Surge? Yeah, so it was Surge. Yeah, Surge is uh, basically like uh, current not Sonic like rival. So like, think Scourge, but not Scourge. <laughs> yes, it was. It's Surge. It was Surge. That was a Surge is cool. They were like, yeah, I've been drawing a lot of Sonic characters because I have my pins on my lanyard that shows Sonic. Mm -hmm. I'm like, cool. And I can Surge. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. Surge is dope. I think you'll like when read the comics. Yeah, I'm going to get right on that. <laughs> See, now you have a reason. So then you can, you can brag to your... Brag to them about like, hey, I'm caught up. I did say, oh yeah, the IDW comics. I've been meaning to read those. Oh, good save. Good save. Yeah. I'm mean, gonna call me a fake fan. Mm -hmm. Nope. Get out of there. Ugh. But yeah, it's been... It's been a hot minute. Um... I've been getting birthday messages for all day. Mm -hmm. I'm just now getting back to them. Yeah, by the way, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You know what would make my birthday What's real that? good? Um, if we could... Uh, uh, end, end the abuse of weed in this country. We yeah. could just stop smoking weed. Wait, you stop smoking weed? Mm-hmm. This country focuses too much on weed. Uh, what would you suggest instead? What do we gotta get everyone hooked on instead of weed? Um... I think everyone should just be hooked on, like, doing cardio at odd hours of the day. Mmm. Sound lame. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go back to smoke. <laughs> no. no. Says the person who has never done drugs in their entire life. You drink coffee one time. That's true. That's true. I drink caffeine. Caffeine's a drug. Um, I take drugs from the drugstore uh, on occasion. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Many such cases. Many such cases. Looking into this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Um, it was really funny. I looked at um, yeah, like uh, Elon Musk is being investigated for insider trading because, like, of course he is. Yeah, like, 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 I would be shocked if he wasn't doing insider trading. Uh huh. Um. And so that's the kind of thing that, <laughs> like I would imagine they just be like, yeah, we're getting to that. And everyone was like, just on the comments, just posting like many such cases or like three exclamation marks. <laughs> oh no, the the loop is running out on that music track. That means I've been going at this for over half an hour. Well, I better finish Fisherman up here. God, I love Fisherman. He's going to take your grandma's credit card information. <laughs> and there's nothing you or the government can do about it. All right. Is that sad? Yeah. Let's get rid of these lines. Oh, that's right. I have to make um, Fisherman's Insignia um, because every Mega Man uh, Battle Network net navi has an insignia. Well, I'll tell mm. you what. I'm going to put the insignia since normally it's like on the chest, but you wouldn't see um, you wouldn't see Fisherman from that angle. I'm going to put it on top of the hat on the helmet the, mm -hmm. the bucket hat and then I'll draw it off the side so like you'd see it sort of emerge you know <laughs> from the water um, Scott sent me a, a meme of, of uh, what's the one guy from Emperor's New Groove Prompt? Nope the, the, Nope the other guy the third guy Pacha? Yeah, Pacha hold, doing his little, like, that's good face. Mm -hmm. And that's when your headphones are broke and only works in that special position. It's him holding up his headphones in the special <laughs> position. <laughs> Real. Yeah, after this, I'm going to do some tidying up because I'm okay. getting a little stressed. But no, I'm good. I'm not going to draw the, uh, the like the electricity through all of this. I'm just going to kind of do the outside edges. I do like, I do like Fisherman. Now, Fisherman's insignia. Is it, uh, it's gotta be a credit card of some sort. Maybe a credit card with a hook through it? I think that's too generic and then references the concept of, like, credit cards in a kid's game that probably doesn't need it. Um, so... Uh, but maybe... You know what, oh, I, gotta I guess this is I'll... a Capcom game. We'll just, we'll make our own. So how about this? I'm gonna do like a hook on the outside, and then on the inside is like the the credit card. Mm. I'm gonna make sure it's still like simple and icon sort of style. We'll uh we'll make so just like generic card, rounded edges, and then the just magnetic strip. Do you think Mega Man EXE exists in a world where tap to pay doesn't work? Um, I know for a fact that Mega Man EXE exists in a world where tap to pay does not exist. <laughs> this is this. 
<laughs> they all pay in zenny. Um, which according to uh, the the uh, 3D plat or I guess 3D rendered but 2D platformer Mega Man network transmission just exists as big old round coins that you can find walking around the internet. Um, no, nah, but yeah, what was your original question about tap to pay? You think it exists in Mega Man EXE? Only, only if to make a problem out of it. Because someone would be okay. like, why isn't my tap to pay working? And then you would have to jack into the register. Mm -hmm. And it would have a bunch of firewalls up uh, in order to... Because it's, uh, you know, it's a... It's, it's holding money in it. And so uh, the clerk would be like, okay, I'm going to release the firewalls one at a time so you can get through and find the virus. But uh, I can only do one at a time such that we don't have any more breaches. And so you have to, like basically it's just like little timed walls that go down that you have to walk past uh and so it becomes like a maze i thought everything in that game is a maze what am i who am i kidding <laughs> the game is just mazes um it's one of the downsides of those games all right uh. No. Okay, we're done. Finally. We'll have one more to go after this. So, now that's finished, let's go ahead and switch gears. I'm gonna turn off my music. Okie doke. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this back up and going. So let's take away that so you can see the video game. Um, real quick, here's a, a, a article from uh, Relux. Uh, speaking of fish. Fish fan permanently banned from Las Vegas Fear after posting first bog rip at the venue. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's see, this is why we can't this is why your your request to get rid of weed can't be respected, Grant, because then we get we wouldn't get killer titles like that. That's true. Okay, so let me go ahead and get my I have to move all my stuff out of the way so I can play the video game. And I also have to get ready to cover my eyes. Cause that's happening. Oh right, mm -hmm. right, right. Alright, let's load. Only one robot master left. Astro Man. Grant, what do you think Astro Man's gonna sound like? Uh, he's gonna go. Hold on, you got a side stream. Oh, right. Good catch. And now everything goes quiet while I get this up and running. Alright. You see it? Yeah. Okay. Um, my face covering implement has gotten caught in my hair clip. That's not good. Okay. There we go. Let's get that back on. Uh. Alright, so there's Astro Man. What do you think Astro Man's going to sound like? Um, 
He's out there going, oh man, he's got a big, big nutsack, dude. Oh. <laughs> he's gonna go, an Astro Man. Oh, like a, like a southern accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Choice. Um. Well, let's find out. Oh man, that was my second guess. <laughs> All right. Ready. Dude, effects. what the fuck is this stage? Oh, that's oh. a that's a great thing to hear from the person who has to guide me through it. So, uh, all right, you have a bunch of boss. You have a you have a you have an ice you have a, a, a isosahedron. Nope. You have some sort of. Uh, 3D polygon in the the sky sh shape shifting. I think it's just background, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna move to the right. Just go to the right. You have no pits. Oh, shoot the sh frog. Yeah, you got the frog. All right. Oh no, there's oh the frog's back. The frog's back. He's back again. All right, you're good. Go go forward. Go forward. Stop. Okay. So you are you got one foot off the edge and one foot on the platform. Okay. There is a there is a thing that is bouncing. We're gonna shoot it first. All right. Okay. Fire. Oh, too late. All right. There you go. There you go. You got it. You got it. Nice fucking shot. Oh, there, there's another one. What? Do they, they, they just keep spawning? Is it a spawner. That sucks, dude. Because. Okay. Is it popping out of the pit? Yeah. Then yes, those things just will infinitely create. Okay. But they then they're I'm timed, so as long as they go up and down, then I can jump past it. Okay. There's also a platform phasing in and out. I don't think you need to use it though. Okay. All right, just make the longest jump you can now. You're good. All right, you made it. All right. So, uh, there's a little puddle guy to your left. Oh, those are yeah. These things are gonna start attacking me. You just jumped off a cliff. <laughs> yeah, because these things chase you down and start attacking you from under your feet if you stand still. All right, so all right. You're gonna have to okay, start moving before just I start moving. Just start moving right, and I'm just gonna tell you when to jump. Okay. Jump. A little, a little too late. Delay. A little too late. You know right. what? Let's because I'm on my last life. Let's just go again. Okay. Let's okay. see if we can get that jump. Okay. 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 Start running. Jump. No, it's not happening. Not on this delay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, it's all right. That's all right. We did our best. <laughs> Let me get we this did our back best. off again. Oh, I'm caught. I'm tangled. I have to remove my kapia. Okay. Now, let me get my glasses back on, my clip back on. Oh, right. Uh, I had forgotten since stream one, I had some things prepared for when I was getting game overs and I never got to show them to everybody. Um, so I, I had originally I had uh, an image prepared and then I realized, oh, this is a great GIF I should have been using. And so now I have two. And I'm just going to show them to everybody. Um, sorry, I need to get my hair to grab this. Okay. Now that that's settled, everyone, please uh, feast your eyes on uh my little reactions for for game overing <laughs> shit don't work and also this oh wait i forgot i yeah oh, you're gonna are... have to see them on oh. twitch because you won't see them on they're both stream. really good <laughs> <laughs> all right so all my anger can be encapsulated in those uh Pieces on screen media. All right, let's do this. Do you think that if we watch the American Mega Man cartoon, we'll get C and D? Um, probably not because it's on YouTube. Hell oh, yeah! All right, all right, fire! Wait, yeah, I don't need a you're yeah. not blind. <laughs> but you are playing with one hand, right? Yes. It's pretty good. I do love these friend frogs. I know you're not probably the best Mega Man player out there, but you're pretty good. I do my best. There you go. Oh, nice save! 
we call that clutch in the south. I'm not clutch. from the south. Here we go. This is a much less, this is a, a significantly less interesting stage design than what we just came from. Well, here we go. We got puzzles. Oh no. Yep. You're not allowed to have puzzles. And what's worse is that uh, you can actually navigate this puzzle differently if you're like mega balling or using tornado hold to move yourself around up and down. Um, I thought we could use, I thought we could use things outside of. Yeah. Oh. But, um, since they're still limited by, uh, well, I guess you're supposed to probably recover them with enemies around, yeah, so I will probably have to, to use something. Um, I'm gonna get as far as I can to, to sort of learn the layout first, I think. Okay, so that's the teleporter I need to get to. This definitely needs to go down. Move this down. That also looks like it's probably good to remove. Um, this sort of loops around. Um, so let me see if I can reorient myself in. Okay, there's a red door. So now I've looped around, there's that same red door. Um, okay, that lifts that up. That's just no, a you need bolt. You don't need. So let's let's get out of here. This is not really helping right now. I need to go vertical. So This is a wall, and that's a wall. So, let me try to, to bounce myself up over here. I think my favorite uh, TikTok subgenre are those the when there's those girls that are like, if you had 24 hours with me and I couldn't say no, what would you do? And that it's just like a guy building an incredibly complicated like. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny. <laughs> I know it's I know it's I know it's like content farming and they're just trying to get an engagement, but I just think it fucking rules. Go, go, go! Toxic fungus stool stage from Mega Man X4. Only you would know that. No one else has played Mega Man X4. Lots of people have played Mega Man X4. That's like one of people's favorites. No, they haven't. That's a lie. That's things that. That's a thing you told yourself. Oh come on. You're like, hey, everybody loves Mega Man X4, and everyone is like, they never released it. <laughs> and then you're like, it's everybody's favorite. You remember when we looked up a big list of what everyone's favorite Mega Man X games were? <laughs> we were playing... Uh, yeah, and everyone said X4, X4 might be my favorite if it ever released. <laughs> For a while that they went on ahead and did 5, 6, 7, and 8... Anyways. Well, they made it. They're not gonna pretend they, they didn't make it. it. Ready. Ah, Ready. Oh, Scott, you got Mega Man Y. Damn. <laughs> that one wasn't quite as good. Sorry to say. I know I'm usually the person who's like, there's no objective measure for for quality of cool video games, but this is the one case that I will say, sorry, you just got the bad Mega Man. 
Is that the one where Mega Man uh, refuses to wear his helmet, but his hairstyle fucking sucks? No, that's Legends. Hey, hey, fuck you! Mega Man Legends, his hairstyle's awesome! <laughs> Well then, what else were you thinking of? <laughs> With the bull cut, the Mega Man bull cut, the Mega Man bull cut, the Mega Man Y, dude. You're just talking shit about it. You don't even know about the Mega Man bull cut. Okay, so maybe I'm a little bit of a baby. It's also the Mega Man game where at well, the why, end of Why would every... I play Mega Man Y? It wasn't that good. Yeah, it's also at the end of every boss fight, Mega Man dances with the guy. <laughs> yeah. In, in a language that no one actually Fuck, knows. Dead. In a language that people don't actually speak. Shit! You know what I'm- you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Ready. God, I cannot wait to play Ball and Wonder World Part 2. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a lot of damage on this section. I don't know if my cat went to the window because she heard a, a, a car lock. And I wonder if she thought it was me, but I'm here. Mm. Okay. That's over with. Ugh! I'm back in the fucking building, you dead! Right. It's funny, it was, uh, earlier I was going to be like, it's weird that they, they do this, because they only do this once in the stage. And that would have been a, uh, a lie. But, uh, clearly they didn't. Alright, I'm gonna try to learn the, the layout of these a little bit before I just start jumping everywhere. Um, so it does not get super lost. Um, okay. Just got rough death there. Hey! Why would you do that? It's cardboard. My cats have all these toys and they just ripped a piece of cardboard off of a box and are chasing each other for it. Many such cases. Many such cases? <laughs> Mega Man Y plus one sounds like it's supposed to be a joke horror. It's supposed to be a, a serious horror game. Good job. I think I gotta proceed through here anyways, so. That's the beginning, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Well, okay then. I'm just done. Oh, and that's it. That's the boss fight. Wait, you did it? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well. Wow. This seems like it could be an incredibly short match. Alrighty. If I die after this, I'm gonna do a checkpoint save. Nope, oh, I have to hear the voice. I come here, but I don't know 
What? It was really Did quiet, he... but it said something like, something, something, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Man, he's just, he's fucking Morty from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Oh, oh! Oh! See? Yeah. God, he's probably... He, he is a... A robot villain and he's probably less problematic. Ah! Oh god, it's right into destruction! It's... Cool Dan's super... This, they gave this robot anxiety. That's fucked up. Yeah, dude, he's fucking nervous, dude. Ugh. Oh. Get bent. Here comes Astro Crush. Ah! Oh. You can't even dodge I that. Okay. Got it in one. God, if you can just Astro Crush a million times, why just not Astro Crush a million times? So there's not that many meteors to use, I guess. So, one of my friends I work with started going by... Is it such a him. wise idea to start right now? Oh, 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 God. That one almost hit me. That's how it is, that's Mega Man! Astro Crush! <laughs> I think he said crash. Oh, is that, I mean, it sounds um, like it, yeah. But, uh... Hold on, start, uh, uh... What's this? Uh... Me when I... Me when I astro crush? Me when you astro crush. Uh, but they started going by, um... He, him pronouns. Mm -hmm. And I was okay. asking... I was asking him, I'm like, alright, well... Do you have a sword? It's like, what? Like, if you're a guy... I get a sword. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, have you started having the masculine urge to throw things at children? And he's like, no. I'm like that just might be a beast. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you tell him uh, if you got a sword, get on board? I did not. Well, if you get a sword, not. then he's on board. Mm. Then he's on board. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. So, beat the stage. That means I gotta do a drawing. So I gotta pace break again. This is the last one though of the OCs. Um, let's see. Uh, now that we're through all the robot masters, uh, whose music do you want me to put on while I draw? Um, can you put on Soul's theme from Mega Man X Seven? Um, I don't know. I want to be careful of what music I pick out to put on. I don't think X7 music would get claimed. No, There's actually, no it way. Might. It might. What? Um, Why? Because, Why? like, they've uploaded that on, like, Spotify and stuff. And, like, so it's yeah, probably, but we're like, not making money in range to claim for topic fine, or whatever. Fine, fine, um, fine. Can you look up what what's a Mega Man game they won't give a shit about? Oh, Mega Man X Four. They never released it. Just... <laughs> like, like Mega Man Eight is what I was referring to. I guess. Like, who's who okay. in Mega Man Eight? Um, is there? Let's get some. Let's get some Search Man shit going here. All right, cool. I can do that. Backup lines. Uh oh. That's fun. It's not recognizing. There it goes. Okay. Cool. Last one. So, for this one, did you ever play Mega Man Star Force? No. Okay. Uh, Star Force was interesting. Basically, Mega Man was not... 
Oh, not in yeah. Not Abbey, but was rather, um, it was an alien life form that had come to Earth. Uh, they were, like, FMians and AMians. They're basically, like, waveform aliens. Um, Man, the, the role the role design in that game fucking slaps. Harp Note? Hell Is that her name? Harp Note, yeah. Dude, she fucking rules, She's dude. So cool. Let me get a picture of Harp Note. Dude, um, Harp Note absolutely slaps. Mega Man Star Force Harp Note. I think maybe her, like, her human character name was, uh... Oh, no, in the English anime dub it was Nira Note. Um... That's dumb. Her, her human funny. character name was Sonia Strum. Yeah. Wow, I found her. I found her band camp. <laughs> let me, let yeah, me she, paste she, her in here. There she is. She's so cool. Uh, she's one of the bosses that you fight, but then she kind of becomes like a a friend character. I guess like there's a basically the first part of uh, Star Force. A lot of it is like. Oh, one of your close friends got sort of possessed by one of these Ephemians, and now you gotta fight them, and then they'll align with you or whatever. Um, so yeah, she's super cool. Um, I do like. I do like. What the fuck? What is a wizard? Oh, <laughs> did you just ask what a wizard is? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on the. I'm on the. I'm on the thing, right? <laughs> and I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for like information and it says compatible human and then it says compatible wizard <laughs> maybe that was a star force 3 thing star force 3 uh, uh, apparently i never played it but no no it wizards like... wizards are like their weapons it looks like oh wizard it repla replaces net nabbies wait so this is a direct sequel to exe which game is it? Star Force? Um, not a direct sequel, no. It's like, it's where the thing where they do where it's long enough in the future that maybe it's a sequel. They had a crossover game um, that had that featured Mega Man EXE in it that was Japan only, that was Rockman Shooting Star or something or other, I think. Um, oh, jeez, I don't remember the name. Shooting Star, I think, is just the the Japanese title for the Star Force series. Um, anyways, um, not not direct sequel, but they both kind of live in the same. It just says that like Net Navvies fell out of use, so it's just like all yeah. your friend, all your friendly Net Navvies that you worked so hard are just like sitting sitting in your Net Navvy as a fucking uh like your Nintendo dogs. <laughs> I mean, if it, if it helps at all, uh, Lan Hikari and all his friends are probably dead by that point. <laughs> so you don't have to worry oh, about the tech rot. Just think, first of all, oh, anybody who is using NetNavi is probably dead. Um, and they went the way of the floppy, you know? You know. Man. Mm. The art for this game fucking slaps, hot damn. Yeah. Uh, the gameplay's interesting too. It took the, um, the, like, 3x3 grid style of, uh, Battle Network, but it's 3D and you're behind the back, and so really you just have three panels. You have, like, a sort of center lane, then a left and a right. Um, I think you may have panels in front of you too. Um, but, uh, the thing they introduced that was kind of a big difference was uh, that you could lock on to enemies um, that were directly in front of you, like in line of sight, uh, down that that column. And then if you had a physical attack, like a sword, uh, then it would warp you directly in front of them, and then you would hit them with it. Um, and you could do that with any weapon, like you could lock on and then you know, like, warp forward to hit them with a cannon, you know, even if it's normally a projectile. And the whole thing was that if you did a lock-on first, and put yourself in close range, then it would, like, increase the damage of it, but also just make you viable for getting hit if you're not careful when you time it. And if you get hit when you're locked on, then it does a bunch more extra damage back to you. Um, and so it was interesting. It, it didn't quite 
hold me as well as Battle Network had, uh, and also like you know times were a change in, and so I didn't have that much time to to get into it. But um, I did. I played through all of Star Force One. I uh, made it through um, almost all of Star Force Two, but I got to the very end and I could not get past this one part as a puzzle. Um, it like. I followed the walkthrough, it was like a DS-ass puzzle where you're supposed to draw, and I just couldn't get it, I thought my copy was bugged, I played the entire game over again with a new game to see if that would help, and it did not work, I got stuck in the same place, I just gave up there. And so it's still sitting in my drawer, uh, in case I want to go back and see maybe now with the power of YouTube if I can figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. Um, uh, anyways, uh, Mega Man in that game is the combination of a human and an alien. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so uh, your your main character's name is Geo Stellar, and then um, great name by the way. Yeah, the alien's name is not Mega Man; it's Omega Sis or Omega Shis, like X Omega Sis. I don't know. It's Omega X I S, um, and so then you come together and you form Mega Man, um, and then so Mega Man is he in is he in Mega Man's Final Smash? Yes. Yeah, he does show up. Um, I, just, I didn't know. Yeah, and so Omega oh, yeah, he, he, has like, this like, yeah, dragon-looking face, and so that's just your cannon, your buster, is like his head on your hand. And he's like, blah! Jeez. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Um, uh, I didn't know that in Mega Man Ultimate, just because I never played Final Smash, in Mega Man Ultimate, Proto Man and Base are in the Final Smash game. Yeah, they got added. Yep. Um, so what I'm going to do for this design... I'm gonna do so. Star Force, they did some like constellations as inspirations for for some characters' waveforms, um, and so I'm gonna do Gemini, not Gemini, but, uh, Pisces, uh, two fishes. Um, mm, that's pretty good. Yeah, and so uh, Gemini is what I am, and that means I am um, evil. I think. <laughs> So I'm going to have it so that, like, uh, the the power aspect of it is going to be, like, um, sort of like a shadow clone, where one is the, one fish is the true target, and then the other one is, like, a fake. And so if you were to do, like, a lock-on attack and try to rush the fake one, then it, it hurts you instead. Um, it's going to be, like, instead of the fish head, it's going to have, like, bait on it. Um, Pretty good. not spend as much time on this one as I did with the other one. That's fair. going to mostly resemble the like Tauros design. Like you're, you're kind of like big part bully, part friend. Like big guy but heart of gold character in Star Force. Yeah. Uh, gets possessed by like Tauros. 
said Taurus. There's... Not the Pokemon, Taurus. Uh, and then, like, that's, like, I think your big first boss fight. Um, and so this probably looks a lot like that. got this you are you are killing it in these these Mega Man designs From something as strong bad. Oh, it is. In my previous uh, university program, we had like a student counselor. Uh, he was very very cool, uh, and also um, was way into Homestar Runner. Uh, as should be. Uh huh. And uh, at one time, uh, she was getting some stuff set up for like an event, uh, and so she's getting on the computer to, to check her email uh and she quoted that uh <laughs> and this is very funny and stuff. I'm gonna have it so that you're riding the sine wave. What did I buy? This is what I bought and it did not work. This is a Sennheiser. Yeah. I'll buy this one. Thank you. 
Um, let's see. There's bosses. Okay, yeah, so it'll be like. Stop it, Taurus Inch. Fire, Cygnus Wing, Libra Scales. Fish. So, so you can call it Fish Scale. Or, uh. Maybe like Pisces. You do like maybe Pisces Fisher or something like that. Or you could. Oh, I see, yeah. Get scooped, idiot. Hi, beef. Get out of here. Part of this is actually proficient. Uh, I'm gonna say just the the bait hook duplicate, and that's all. You might think, well, isn't that a bit of an undercooked design? That's okay, because we're gonna play with Mega Man X. That's what we're actually here for. It's true. Mega Man Star Force. Alright, Grant. Your OCs are done. I'm super glad. They're all really good. Which is your favorite? I think I can't get over Fisherman. Yeah. I think Fisherman Fisherman had the most love put into him. Uh-huh. And I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Alrighty. I think here's what I was thinking. Let's save the the comics until we do the Mega Man. Oh, thanks, guys. Ridley. <laughs> I didn't see you comedy. Yeah, every time Brantley and I do something. We'll get we'll get new new outfits. Look, Beaver, I already gave you one image of uh of Servbot smiling. Don't put your luck. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even donate, actually you probably did. Oh, Aisha's playing guilty game. What the fuck? No, I know Ridley subscribed recently. Um is Ridley someone from the Bear Clan or someone you know through Guilty Gear? Ridley is uh, Smash, Smash, uh, Smash Tourney. Ah, cool. He runs the Smash Tourney, and uh... no, you do not need to again, Beaver. We have, we have made our money that we needed to make. Yeah. I, now, we if can't you draw want anymore, we gotta move on. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 our art stream is probably uh, coming to an end for now, so that we can continue playing the video game. Ridley is the titular Metroid. Ridley won last Smash tournament. Not Ridley GM, but Ridley the character. Wow. Neat. My cat's sitting like a human. Good. She has destroyed my Chasm Fiend box. Featherless biped. It's a man. Man. All right, let's get going. A woman. All right. Let's do this. Let me push my tablet out of the way. Get ready to cover my eyes again. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we on Ridley? I mean, I'm Ridley, Ridley <laughs> Wiley. We are. You know what that means? You know, I mean... conflict of interest because uh, by our rules, you're supposed to guide me. Uh, using your voice to give me commands. However, you also have full uh, uh, full allowance to play other sound effects that are gonna screw me up during. All this right, hold on. Meeting. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test these sound effects real quick. All right. Oh, something something's not right. Jump, jump, slide, slide. Jump, jump. What do we think? How's that sound? I think they're good enough. I probably won't be able to tell the difference well enough during. Though if I'm talking, then I think it screws it up a little bit. Jump, slide, slide. Yeah, so I will just be quiet during those segments. Okay. 
I am pretty sure this starts right off with rocket board. So all right, let's do it. I'm gonna I'm actually and until until you are sighted, I think I'm going to try and help. I'm not gonna try and fuck you up. Okay. Let's do it. I think that'd be really cool if we can if we can do this. Oh god, it's 3D. <laughs> Whatever happened to Duo? Uh, we'll see Duo again. Ready. You, it is Rocket Board. All right. So if you go forward, you're on the Rocket Board. Okay. You got, you got dust flies. They're, they're blocking your view. You can't see. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, I was not fucking with you. You could have jumped, jumped. Ready. <laughs> this is your last life. Okay. That's a little slow. God, it's all right. We're you know what? This could be, th this is fast and fun. I'm gonna do another set of three. Ready. Okay, we're just gonna see how far I can get. Yeah, Beaver, so many dimensions. Three. Okay. Jump, you have a jump, small. Jump, jump, okay, I'm gonna jump. have to push forward on those jumps. Yep, you, you, you do get a, you, so you have a medium than a small platform, so you're going to need to jump, jump, then jump. Yeah. Alright, accelerate that rocket board. Jump, 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 jump. Dang it. You, you might want to look at Because I push forward, I think it, the second jump comes faster than I expect it. I yeah. kind of outspeed the sound effect. Dang it. You made it to the third one, yeah. but it is it is short. Okay. Now you get to play all the sound effects you want. Slide, slide, jump, jump. <laughs> jump, jump. That was going to get especially hard eventually knowing that uh they eventually start throwing enemies at you. Yeah, uh, that drop things on you and th stuff like that. So eventually I was just going to start taking damage and stuff. All right, this is what originally stopped me from playing as a kid. Uh, I got this far, and then I could not beat it, and uh, I had to return the game. Uh, you know what? Actually, I don't know if I got this far when I was originally renting the game. I might have gotten the game for full and then gotten stuck here, too. Um, slide, slide. Let's do it. Ready. Well, okay, so I should just stay in front of them. Ready. You got this. I love the bunnies. Jump, 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 slide, slide. You missed the slide, dude. Yeah. Ready. Believe it or not, even though I'm only jumping and shooting, playing left-handed does make this part harder. Did you notice the colors are different every time? I didn't. Must be random. I can't believe Mega Man is using AI to determine the colors of the the fuck. I don't even want to fuck with you. I didn't even fuck. I didn't even fuck with you. That's true. You're gonna have to start though, because I'm getting farther. Ready. Slide, slide. 
I, uh, this, this could be me. It does feel like the game chugs a little bit. Uh, like, or just something how the graphics are being rendered right now is choppy. Um, which is not an excuse. But it does make it a little weird to look at. Mm. Trying to clutch my hand on the controller using the shoulder buttons and then also moving uh, is is proving more difficult than I expected. I've tried now both joystick and D-pad and I've, I've accidentally managed to do slides when meaning to jump. Now at that time I overthought it. And I can't let go of... I have to be holding shoot because sometimes I need it. Um, so maybe maybe I should only be holding it when I know there's a mess coming. So, now I should stop. That's not... Jump, jump. Hesitated on the controls. You're, you gotta just stop thinking. <laughs> thinking is thinking is fucking with you. Time to start sprinkling those in. I don't think I'm going to, because you're fucking up anyway. <laughs> wow, you're being merciful. But that would be the I, time to do it. I it would, but I also think that if if I do that, it it's adding a challenge. People did pay for it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Give the people what they do. All right, all right. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Jump, 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 jump. Slide, slide. Jump, jump, slide, jump, jump. Slide, slide. Slide, slide. Jump, 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 jump. Slide, slide. Slide, slide. Jump, jump. Jump, 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 slide, slide, jump, jump, slide, 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 jump, 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 j
Oh, did that Steam pop up appear? Yeah, they're playing Guilty Gear XXX at court. Yeah. That's someone I met through TF2 stuff. Uh, I think it was someone in a different game a long time ago. I have not. I don't know if they would if they would show up on Twitch because it's a different kind of streaming thing. Mm -hmm. If you saw the secret uh, Steam friend, uh, chat in now. If, if if you can say the secret Steam friend, you get a raffle into our secret drawing where you can win a day with me and Brantley. <laughs> That's right. All you if you hit, dox yourself. If, if you don't need to dox yourself, you can send it to our our PO box, and you can enter the raffle to spend a day with me and Brantley, where where we will hang out with you. I bet so many of you would want that experience. You can sit and watch me play all of Mega Man Three in one sitting, like that one time I did that with Ryan. <laughs> it's a pretty good day. I was like, so, we can do something else. And he was like, the no, like I'm just enjoying watching this. I think so, at the time I did not know that he played Mega Man when he was a kid. Or maybe that's why I charged him? I don't know. No, dude. I didn't, I didn't trigger, was it? I had it halfway pushed down and so it didn't activate. Sorry, say, what did you say? Hold on, I need to go claim my copy of uh, Midnight Suns. Um. Nothing. I I was gonna say something, and it just kind of doesn't matter. Um, I can't remember what I sign in with Epic Games. I'm pretty sure it's my Nintendo Switch account. Hi. I feel like at least you kind of have to either look or listen and not both. If you try to do both, it's just too much. That's it. You did it. Done. Now I just have to play the rest of this game. There's platforming challenges. You best not fuck this up. Yeah, I know. Get him. <laughs> get, get him. <laughs> get him. Oh, pussy. <laughs> if you don't want me to use it, I won't use it, but I'm keeping no, that there. No, because it would. Wait, if you fail this, do you have to start the rocket thing over again? Yes. <laughs> I would. I think we've exposed people enough to that. Okay. 
Nice. Alright, I don't remember what lies beyond this point. We're gonna find out. Right, we are we are no longer um, fucking around. So. Oh, hate this boss. Is this a Mega Ball only boss? Let's try Tornado Hold first. Oh! What? <laughs> okay, well, Ice Wave did hit it, but it just kind of pushed it back. Um. Only Sniper? Homing Sniper does not work. Cool. <laughs> hey, Kitty, what is up Thank with you for this aggressively headbutting my mic. I think this might be a I'm gonna put ball boss. On my shoulder. I'm just gonna hold you. You hate it, dude. You want attention. Let me give you attention. Hit, I literally destroyed everything on screen except the boss. Ready. I'll give it another honest try, and if I still don't know what it is, then I will look up what the weakness is. Um, I can't use Flash Bomb because it's too high. Tornado Hold does not work. Um, Astro Crush kind of works on everything sometimes, but who knows? Usually you get like one or two uses of it. Or maybe no, I'm thinking of the Giga Crash in X5. Um, Maybe we'll try that. Yes, okay, four uses of it. Well, let's see. Cool, it does not work at all. Awesome! <laughs> Oh, come on. How am I going to get a ball in there? At this point, I'm just worried. Okay, so it is Mega Ball. It's just god-awful shit trying to get it to fit. And then they fall down anyway! Ooh. Really good. This sucks bad. I think this is great. Are you just supposed to spam Mega Ball? Like Do it! In order to try to clear everything out? Like what's the what's the point here? Like you just damage rest of the bot. These things fall down and then like Wily Castle Mega Man. I completely forget the strategy here. I'm, well, I know it's Mega Ball. Like, it clearly is Mega Ball. But, like... If you wait too long, maybe you're supposed to just take the segments out one by one when they fall down or something. Uh, and then try to shoot a Mega Ball up. This is really bad. <laughs> oh my god, I, remember, I, I found a guide. Mm -hmm. And it goes, and it goes, uh, uh, here, I'm going to read what this guide says, this YouTube guide that has little commentaries. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the only good use for the Mega Ball when it comes to attacking. It is this boss's weakness. Yay. That's it. The most important thing to remember at the Mega Ball is you can change its angle by holding up. What? Fighting this is very awkward. It is hard to destroy things before they end up attacking you. 
The only way I can see to beat this boss without taking a hit is a lot of weapon swapping and or luck. Either way, I hate this boss and I'll be happy once it's out of the way. Die, you pesky thing. <laughs> Thank god. Okay. I feel a little validation. Okay, yeah, so that does change the angle. After a while, the bar starts summoning fakes of itself. Try to avoid hitting these. Here comes the fake ones. Those are easier to dodge now that I can. Now I know what to expect. Just one more, just one more. Oh no. <laughs> it's too close. Ready. Granny, you started to realize with me why uh, this is the one that people don't like. It. Uh, if this is it. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is... That up trick is saving my life. This also freaked me out uh, when I was originally playing it. Every time you beat a Wily stage, it takes you back to the stage select screen. It's like, what? What did I do wrong? And you just have to play it again, then it puts you on to the next stage. Nice. But I do have to use the restroom. So, uh, if you would not mind. Yeah, uh, I'll entertain everybody. Hello, everybody. It's me. Um, go Team Rockman. Woo! Let's play a game. Um... What game do you want to play? Let's play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Uh, Zed Vector. Rock, Paper, Scissors. Who want, someone, someone, someone throw out a rock, paper, scissors. Someone throw out a, a, a rock, paper, or scissors. I just realized, we ha we're at like 10.15. Do we want to yeah. like just end here? Probably. Probably. Because I don't oh. want to go too much further. Zach threw out rock. Ah, shit, I threw out scissors. Damn it, Zach. Ah, nothing beats rock. Ugh. Do we want to, um, do we want to, do we want to use the last 15 minutes to, uh, chart out our first, uh, sprite comic? Um. Or do you think it's going to take longer than 15 minutes? Probably take longer than 15 minutes. Um, how about. That's because you're a bad writer. Let's go. <laughs> um, I would, what I was thinking was we'll just, with our next stream, it'll just be gameplay. We'll just finish the game. And then on uh, on our uh, Mega Man X dive stream, 
when we take breaks, we'll do the comics. How does that sound? All right. That all sounds right. like a plan. Thank you all for joining us for Mega Man 8. If you like what you listen to, please subscribe to our Twitch or our YouTube where you can listen to us talk about anime. Everyone keeps watching our first... We've had like 13 people watch our first... Um, our first episode of our podcast and then they don't watch anything else. Um, I assure you we get better. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do, uh, smash on your keyboard until you find us. Yeah, uh, you can watch you can, all of if it you, in chronological order. <laughs> no, if you, I mean, you can. We have some good inside jokes that show up. But realistically, if you want to know my favorite ones, Gibiate is my favorite bad anime. Uh, Ribu Starlight's my favorite good anime. And those are good episodes of the podcast as well. Um, but anyway, thank you so very much for listening to us. Please subscribe to our, our things. We, we love you. But you don't have to do any of that. Even though we love you, we are not your dads. <laughs> <laughs>